Hello and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. I am super excited to get into this. It's been a while since I played it and I have a few choices that I need to canonize for the series. Um, before we start, uh, I'm going to mention, as always, tr uh, try to avoid spoilers in the comments because there may be someone watching who uh, hasn't played the game before, so I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, if you do want to talk about spoilers, just put, make sure you put a spoiler warning in your comment. But anyway, let's go ahead, let's just jump into this. Okay, so we do, um, have to play as a human this time. Uh, the story follows a specific family, so we don't get very many choices this time around. Uh, we're gonna play a warrior. Gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. That, uh, that knife in the book, that'll come back later. them sooner or later then we make our stand here prepare yourself do I not have subtitles on uh, hold on hold on hold on options yes I would like subtitles please all of it that'll be good I really, really love the controls for this game. It just... Oh, it feels great! <laughs> Combat is... wonderful. Ah, right in front of my face! Nice! Keep this up forever. Um, okay, so here we have our, our uh, dialogue wheel, and um, we can be diplomatic, sarcastic. Um, this sounds like judge. It's it's usually aggressive, but I think this is showing the judgmental judgment symbol. Anyway, we'll go we'll go with sarcastic response. Perhaps we'll be lucky, and they'll run out of darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? Go for it. All yours, sister. <sighs> oh, 
so. I love it so much. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I've actually never played a class other than Warrior for this game, so I don't know if the controls feel as good otherwise. Um. I got it. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Hmm. What makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. There is some debate on, because Varric, Varric is a storyteller, and there is some debate as to how much of what he tells her is the truth and how much of it is him making it up as he goes, as he says. Okay, so we can create our character now, and I'm going to play with this, and we'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so here we have Abigail Hawk. Um, we're gonna go in, they have um, presets you can use, but I want to import from my save. Okay, so this is the last one we played. And we can take a look at our plot summary. So that tells us some things. Um, let's go ahead and confirm that that's the one we want. And now, we're good to go. If I can get out of here, make sure that that, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do casual. The Blight has been unleashed on Ferelda. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time.
Get up! Everybody okay? I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Yeah, so our backstory, at least with Warrior Hawk and Carver here, is that we were soldiers. Um, speaking of running, we need to get out of here. Listen, you two. The Darkspawn could be on us any minute. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead on. Carver's letting me lead? Okay. Oh, and we have Puppy. All right, can I put the sword away? There we go. Um, looking for loot. Nope, nope. Yeah, it still feels good. <laughs> Use to kill another party member. I like being me. L2 to pause the game. Okay. Leveled. I leveled. Let's do that. Alright, did that. Where are we going? Shiny stuff. Yeah, so if you notice, the art direction here is a little different. I like it, though. Wait! Where are we going? Away. Away from the darkspawn. Where else? <laughs> and then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Why not? I'm I'm gonna be choosing mostly the diplomatic options for Hawk. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. We can go to Kirkwall. Kirkwall? Are you sure that's wise? There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Ah, oh, and we got rid of the boob armor, finally. <laughs> yes, gosh. <laughs> While I breathe. All right, let's go. There we go. <laughs> that almost took a minute. Dang, Aveline. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. That woman is an apostate. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Yeah, back off. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. 
We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Ah. Uh, I don't know. What are you doing out here? <laughs> a strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? <laughs> Wise girl. Uh... Can we trust you? You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. I'm with Carver. <laughs> so long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. How did you get past the Horde? For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. Just like at Ostagar, this is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. Um, occasionally, I will be choosing other options. So long as you know I stand with Bethany, Templar. Understood. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. We have other options? We have no choice. <laughs> the Darkspawn have us fenced in. We go south. Oh, and we're back again. Nice levels. I got some rivalry from Carver. I don't know what from. Um, Bethany Friendship 15. Carver! <laughs> Carver will rifle you no matter what you do, um, because it's Carver. Let's take a look at... that's not what I wanted. Or is that what I wanted? Yeah, that is what I wanted. So, um, down in the left corner, you can see friend and rival, and that's a new mechanic um, for Dragon Age 2 that I enjoy quite a bit. How do I change... oh, switch characters. Um, like I said, Carver is going to head toward rivalry always. Bethany is going to head, head towards friendship usually. And Aveline is, I think she's neutral right now. So the way that somebody explained it is that friendship is when you make choices that um, your companions agree with and rivalry is when you make choices that your companions go along with but aren't happy about. <laughs> Um, and the cutscenes in the game will actually change based on how, how, what your companions think of you, which I think is just a really awesome system. I enjoy it a lot. Um, all right, I'm gonna level people up. Okay. Um, I tend to cut out the leveling because when I'm watching Let's Plays, that's the part I always skip. <laughs> um, so, uh... So I just cut it out. Oh jeez. Wesley just stands there. He is injured, so... I guess that makes sense. Wait, this way. I love the combat with this game. <laughs> I really do. 
Nobody, nobody dropped any shinies in any of that. Nothing. Well, there's some. What? Archers! Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure I should be able to attack it from down there. <laughs> oh jeez, they keep coming. even paying attention to what I'm picking up. I'm just picking everything up. Give me that. Oh yeah, that was the guy I saw on the ground. Okay. Everybody good? I'm just gonna keep walking. Fighting. Yeah. No more. Oh, there's more of them. go up there just yet. <laughs> I was we like, don't make me go that far we forward. Will. We must press towards the wilds. Okay. We will get there. I want to look at loot first. I think there's a chest down here. Yep, there's a chest, which I cannot open because I am not a rogue. And none of them are rogues, so. Ooh, Takari Wilds. This is our first codex. Um, and they finally implemented it to where it pops up on top so that you can read it instead of hunting in the many file folders. Um, hmm. Some of these I'll read and some of these I'll just scroll down so you can pause the video and read, but I think I am going to read this. It is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves stalked the lands of Ferelden in numbers that kept every farm holder indoors in a hound, on every doorstep, a powerful Arl of the Alamari people stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His Arling stood on the border of the Dark Forest on the southern border of the Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the forest to launch their midnight assaults on humanity. For twenty years, this Arl led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest. In his hunt for the werewolves, he slew not only every wolf he came upon, but also every member of the Chasen Wilder folk. Any one of them, he said, could harbor a demon inside and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For twenty years the forest rang with screams and the rivers ran red. The tales say that an old chastened woman found her sons all dead at the Arl's blades. She pulled one of those very blades from one son's heart and plunged it into her own chest, cursing the Arl's name as she did so. Where her blood touched the ground, a mist began to rise. It spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest. The Arl's army became lost, and it is said that they died there. Others say they wonder still. The ruins of his Arling stands to this day, filled with the ghosts of women waiting eternally for their husbands to return. The forest of legend is, of course, the Kakari Wilds. There are as many legends about the great southern forest as there are shadows. For so the saying goes, the Chasen Wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wild land spread as far into the south as anyone has ventured. Beyond the mists are vast traces of snow, white-capped mountains, and entire fields of ice. It is a land too cold for mankind to survive, yet the Chasen eke out an existence even there, and they tell of horrors beyond the wilds that the lowland folk could not begin to comprehend. To most, Ferelden simply ends with the Kakari Wilds. There is nothing beyond. The Wilds is a land of great trees, wet marshes, and dangerous monsters. What more need be said? That's where we're fleeing to! Yay! <laughs> oh, I should level everybody before I go up there. 
Okay. Where were we? We were this way. You don't have anything to say? I'm not sure we can survive much more of this. No, we'll figure it out. Does Wesley say anything? Since I realized that there's dialogue buttons I can't over there. Believe the darkspawn have reached this far so quickly. Yeah, they kind of do that though. All right, upstairs. Up this way. <laughs> I'm stuck on a rock. Oh, great. You soulless bastards! Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. That, that did not work out well. Oh, nice. We got him. Let's go get these. Oh gosh. Got it, Bethany. Carver, wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. Oh no. I'm sorry, mistress. Your son is gone. No. These things will not take Carver. Hmm. I don't like any of these. Carver gave himself to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my son. How could you let him charge off like that? Your little brother. My little boy. Mother, we can't stay here. Carver wouldn't want his sacrifice to be meaningless. Allow me to commend your son's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young man a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace he has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Carver. So, uh, no matter what you do, you will lose one sibling. And it depends on the character class that you play. Uh, since I picked Warrior, and Carver's a warrior, they balance out the game. So you lose Carver. If you're a mage, you lose Bethany. Uh, and I believe if you're a rogue, you lose Bethany, too. <sighs> That's the best we can do right now. Our lives are more valuable to him than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. Okay. <laughs> One. Which one do I do first? Let's do the guys. Oh. Whoa, what? There's no end to that. That was fast. There's the dragon. Well, well, what have we here? What?
Oh, she is. It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Oh my god. <laughs> Loving the new look, by the way. Uh, I guess things are in order. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't arrived. I do. You would have perished. You still may. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. Oh, gosh. Wait. You can't just leave us here. Can I not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? <laughs> Since we're blocked in all directions, uh, can't you help us out a little bit? We won't be able to get through the Darkspawn on our own. They are everywhere, or soon will be. Where is it you plan to run to, hmm? We need to get to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. Your king will not miss you, hmm? <laughs> he has no opinion. He's dead. <laughs> Lothering is gone and Ferelden may soon follow. We have to go. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight. And the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. No Flemeth. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Okay. Okay, yeah. So see, this changed from the, um, the, the mask thing, the drama mask, to this gem. I don't know what the symbols mean. Um, let's, let's try this one. There must be a catch. <laughs> <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Maybe we shouldn't trust her. I don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks talk too much. much. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Sometimes I listen to her and I can't not hear Captain Janeway and it's just... <laughs> it makes these conversations interesting. Uh, what is a Witch of the Wilds? What is a Witch of the Wilds exactly? A chastened legend witches that steal children bah as if i had nothing better to do that's fair you're an apostate yes just like you why not go yourself you would go through all that trouble to have something delivered i have an appointment to keep yes you do that is far more convenient this way happily you are not without your own needs She'll reveal what that appointment is later. Uh, what will we be facing? How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. That's pretty fair, but can you give me some more details? That's a lot to ask without telling us what this involves. It's nothing more dangerous than one so capable can handle. Okay. Opinions? Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the dark spawn. Oh, that doesn't look good. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Okay, I don't think... Nope, nothing else there. We'll do it. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. 
do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> oh, no. No, leave him alone. Aveline? What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. Um, explain? What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. There must be something we can do. I don't think there is. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. up to you. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. 